praying, Jane, please. Don't even act like yourself. I know that you're in trouble, that something is wrong, that you're in serious trouble. You frighten me, Frank. Oh, don't be frightened, Paul. I want to hug you. Don't ever be frightened of anything again, will you promise me that? I love you so much, darling. More than you seem able to understand. Oh. I never really knew how to listen to Hey, you. quit making out. Sometimes when I used to be afraid that you weren't sure how you felt, I tried to hold back, but I couldn't. Losing you would have been losing everything. There would have been nothing left. Don't, Paul, don't. Oh, it doesn't help that I'm gonna die in another day. There's nothing I can do about it. I feel so helpless. You're leaving me out of something. Tell me, Frank, what is it? Give me a chance to fight back. Just give me a chance, please. You do love me, Paul. Oh, yes, Paul, I love you. I never was more certain of anything in my life. I wasn't hmm. sure before. I was a little blind, I guess. But believe me, I'm sure now. <laughs> you understand that, Paul. Oh, blind, I guess. Running sentence. It can, it can be a big thing or a little thing, but it can make him realize how much someone means to Was this improvise or something? <laughs> I don't know. It's just babbling at the mouth. It's just starting turning into static when it reaches my ears. I thought it sounds a little, little, little. It's like he's speaking Haitian or something. Or Swahili. I think Haitian is French. Hey, whatever. You don't want my help. Oh, Paul, there's nothing you can do. Will you believe me? So will you please go home, please? No, Frank. I won't go. Wow, you're stubborn. I can't leave you like this. All right, Paula, look, wait for me in the lobby of the hotel, and I'll be back to you soon, I promise. You promise, yes, you Paula, I promise. You all know that promises don't last forever. <laughs> oh, I'm going to eat your mouth off. Nom, 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 God, you're sexy. <laughs> 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 yeah, kiss me one more time. Vulcan mind. Oh no, no Vulcan mind mail. <laughs> and the tiniest belly of the old. Hello. That must be one. Bye again. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. My life is a wreck. I shouldn't have drank all that sake. The end. Oh. Horn. Oh, there's no one here. Hurry! Stanley here? You sure? Get in there. Hi, Stanley on the phone. Tell him to come over here right away. Use any excuse you want. What are you going to do? What was Stanley going to do when he used me for a clay pigeon today? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't act innocent with me. I felt for that once. I don't know what you mean. I told you everything you wanted to know this morning. Yeah, you told me just enough so I'd get sidetracked and wouldn't know that Stanley was the one I was at. Stanley? Oh, no. You and Stanley have been together on this from the start. Now, come on. Get on that phone and call him. Don't let him know I'm here. Sing along. Whoops. Oh my god! Oh boy! <laughs> You've been sidetracked, all right. It was the poor bereaved little widow who did it. We're supposed to have found this letter this afternoon. It's in my brother's desk at the office. It's postmarked two years ago. It isn't exactly the kind of a letter that a married woman gets from a casual friend. I'm sure my brother wasn't aware that they were so well acquainted when he hired Halliday. Oh! He hasn't felt right since dinner. What did he have dinner? At Mrs. Phillips' apartment. Halliday was there, too, and Stanley confronted them with that letter. Do you have anything to drink? That's why. How long ago? Half an hour ago, just before I came here? It's supposed to. Get on the phone, call the emergency hospital. Have him get an ambulance over here right away. What? Tell him to prepare a stomach wash for luminous poisoning. Luminous poisoning? Go on, do it. I do it. Oh, 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 my God. Go on. Go on. Damn it, damn it! That's an eyeball on the fan. No, uh, <laughs> went wall. It's funny that he has luminous poisoning, but he he's still alive. He doesn't have a stomach ache like that. It was that. only 30 minutes ago. But he didn't have that bad of a stomach ache. Oh. George Reynolds, Mrs. Phillips. He's been dead for five months. He didn't steal a bill of sale. No, he didn't. But you could have stolen. Uh-oh. How dare you? You knew who I was when I came here today. But you were surprised to see me alive, weren't you? But I'm not alive, Mrs. Phillips. I can stand here and talk to you. I can breathe and I can move. But I can walk and talk and do the robot. <laughs> and 
nothing from Snape. Except for killing you, throwing you off the balcony like you what did with your you dad and your husband. No, no, you better listen to me. You've got to give me a chance. But I didn't have a chance. Oh, with Halliday. Believe me, with Halliday. He made me steal a bill of sale. He planned everything. What about this letter? Hey, right, hey. About you and Halliday. He found it only yesterday. He accused Halliday. They fought, and Halliday pushed him over this balcony. And why me? Why did he want oh, to kill me? Because you could have proved there was a bill of sale. That my husband had no reason to commit suicide. No reason, huh? Oh. After he killed my husband, he found out about the phone calls to you. He thought you spoke to him, that you knew enough to involve him. Uh-oh. It's that guy again. Well, that was a nice slide. <laughs> Power slide. Oh, it's like, shh. Shh. And the fair. Oh, it didn't fall. Bigel away! Did it. 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 Uh, oh, Lord, Lordy, Lord. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I shouldn't have had that bean burrito. Hey, what the hell? What? What? Why did it pause? Um. Uh oh, something bad must be happening. Uh, yeah. Right, um, well, break time then. Break time. Well, break there's time. only, like, what, like, ten minutes left? Just about, Five yeah. minutes? Well, let's just take yeah, a Yeah, let's break, break it. Something must be Break it! I slink through the night, like a bat through the air. Yeah, that was graceful. Wow. That was sexy. Not as sexy as what I just did. Yeah, whatever. I almost fell down, so it's kind of awkward of me. All right, I guess Maul's gonna come in. Sidious, get out. Ah, something you wouldn't notice. You're not Batman. I felt you sidle up to me. I'm Batman. You can't riff this movie. You already did nine. You suck, you know that. You did nine. And I thought you hated all of these. Like, you hate doing this. I, um, uh, it, uh, I'm a wizard now! <sighs> that, that old guy. <laughs> that old guy. Drink coke. Cures the erectile dysfunction. Okay. <laughs> it's it cures what ails you, rather. <laughs> no, I'm not dead. Damn it. So I am getting problems with my waist. <laughs> and yeah, there's a diet for you. Room everything below the waist. <laughs> yeah, better. Yeah. Well, ow. Freaking. Damn it. So he just tried to sneak in, huh? How'd you know? I saw him, silly bastard. That was how unsubtle he was. Anakin, don't try. There's no room! Uh, man, you'll have to wait for the next one, okay? Be patient. That's what Obi-Wan always says, and I hate it. Yeah, well, you're fat. And stupid, so shut up and go away. Eh. Okay, well, the last minutes of this. DOA. The end of DOA, yes. Yes, we would like to see that. Let's go.